everyone and welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. I've had this mani on about two weeks now. Um, I did not wear peel base underneath uh, as I was going to be on vacation and such. So I thought it would be a great idea to show you my removal process. And I'm going to be using Magic Remover from Double Dipped. Um, this is a product, I'm sure you've seen similar products around on the market. Um, but it's sort of a goopy consistency as you can see and I'm going to show you exactly how I go about using this product to remove my dip powder. Now as a reminder I have on um, my colored dip powder which is mostly glitter and underneath that I have two layers of pink glass over my natural nail as sort of an overlay to protect my natural nail from filing down because I knew I was going to be using this, my e-file. And um, to remove my dip powder, I will be using a coarse bit. Um, this is my Panna coarse bit that I got off Amazon. All of the products that I am using in this video will be linked down in the description box for you. Here I am just showing you a couple of examples of hand files that can be used. If you do not own an e-file and you'd rather use a hand file or you feel more comfortable using a hand file, um, you'd want a um, pretty coarse grit uh, hand file. These are cuticle pushers. There's just a few examples here of cuticle pushers and scrapers that you can use to uh, scrape off your um, dip powder once it is softened by the magic remover and uh, then this is the one right here that I prefer using uh, it's just kind of shaped like a chisel almost so it uh, does a pretty good job of scraping off all of the product there's a few other things I highly suggest having on hand one of which is some isopropyl alcohol for cleaning up your nails um, getting all the dust off and stuff like that um, whatever preferred buffer you use I have several different kinds um, and they all work they'll all do the job um, but the other thing that I didn't show but I suggest having is some actual acetone on hand just for the cleanup after you remove all of the product so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you using my 100 grit side of my file how I would hand file my dip powder off um, if I was not going to use my e-file. My preferred method is using my e-file with my coarse bit, um, but some people aren't comfortable using an e-file or um, they're not comfortable using a coarse bit um, because if you don't use the coarse bit, Honestly, it's going to take you all day <laughs> to file down your dip enough for the magic remover to be able to do its job. Um, I mean, you could just buff off the top coat and hope for the best, but I have found that it's going to take three, four, maybe even five applications of the magic remover if you don't file down the majority of your dip powder first. Um, and I'm showing you all of this on probably one of the more difficult manis to remove because it is a glitter mani. I mean, the lighter color is a very fine, more shimmery glitter, um, so it's a bit easier to remove. But the other glitter is a regular, you know, small glitter. And as many of you know, if you're not new to dipping, glitter dip powder or even glitter nail polish is more difficult to remove than the flat solid matte colors so um yeah so i'm using the 100 grit side of my nail file and i am just going to town on this dip powder um, i'm not really worried about going down to my natural nail because as i said i have an overlay on my natural nails which will protect it um, and I use my isopropyl alcohol quite often throughout this process just to see you know remove all the dust and to see how far down I have filed so now that I have filed as much as I want to on my thumb with my hand file I'm going to now demonstrate how I 
would remove the dip powder using my e-file with the coarse bit from Panna. Again, this is a, a bit that I got on Amazon. Uh, a lot of companies carry a bit like this. Um, it may be a different color. It is a carbide bit. Um, so that's what you're looking for. And as I said, this is my preferred method because I find that a coarse bit with my e-file takes down the majority of the bulk of the dip powder so that there are less layers to remove using the magic remover. As you can see, I'm trying to be very careful. I'm moving it in one direction. I am not um, running the e-file back and forth. I'm trying to con constantly keep it moving so that I don't create hot spots on my nail and I don't um, over file. As I said, with the hand filing, I do have an overlay of the pink glass on my natural nail. So um, even though it may look like I'm filing down to my natural nail because most of the glitter is gone, there is a layer of protection um, there. So now I'm going to turn down my e-file and I'm gonna show you that it is possible to do the same process at a lower speed. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. Um, but if you're not comfortable using your e-file at 12 or 13,000 RPMs, you can turn it down to seven or 8,000 RPMs. It's a little slower. It's not gonna take off the layers as quickly, but it will still do the job if you're not comfortable at the higher speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead, and again, this is my solid glitter nail. This is all that, you know, small uh, glitter that is covering this entire nail. So it's going to take a bit longer because as I said, glitter is a bit more difficult to remove than regular dip powder. So while you watch me remove this uh, glitter nail <laughs> as much as I possibly can at a low speed over glitter, um, I wanted to just explain my absence. It's been about two weeks uh, since my last upload. The last time I uploaded, I was away in Maine on vacation. Um, when I got back from Maine, um, I had a wedding to attend. While I was away in Maine, I got the news, the sad news, that a good friend of mine had suddenly and tragically lost her husband. So um, that following week, I had a wake and I had a funeral and um, I was just feeling a little bit out of sorts and um, was not really wanting to do my nails much. Um, so i just took a little bit of a break and i just kept my uh vacation nails on for a little bit extra time and um i decided that uh it was time for them to come off because it was starting to grow out and that was starting to bother me <laughs> but the other thing about that is that it is the beginning of the school year school is starting um as I am recording this voiceover. In fact, today was my very first day back with students. And though I am very excited to see all my kiddos and get back to work, um, the beginning of the school year can be kind of hectic. Anyone who works in education knows that. So with all that being said, um, I have finished using my e-file off camera to um, file down the remainder of my nails so that I can now apply the magic remover. So here is my process. The first thing I do with the magic remover is I apply a thin, a fairly thin layer to all of my nails. Um, and I only do one hand at a time because um, it is kind of a goopy uh, consistency. It, it makes kind of a mess if you try to do all 10 nails at once. So I do one hand at a time and I apply a thin layer of the uh, magic remover to each nail. And then once I have them all covered, I might go back in with a second layer just to make it a little bit thicker. Um, I found that the more product, the more of the magic remover I can use, um, the faster it dissolves the dip powder. Um, I also use Magic Remover for removing my full cover tips. And I 
use the same exact process. I use my e-file to bring down the, the bulk of that tip and then I will apply the magic remover over it. So the process is pretty much identical to what I'm doing here. Um, and then I set my timer and I set my timer for four minutes the first time. When the timer goes off, I will use my tool of choice, which is this uh, chisel-like end of my cuticle pusher, and I start to scrape away the product. I try to do this away from my cuticle as to not risk injuring myself. Um, and that is pretty much the process. I'm going to do this same process for every nail. Um, and then when I'm done scraping off as much, now I don't force this. I do try to be as gentle as I possibly can because um, you can possibly scrape too hard, injure yourself or um, damage your natural nail bed if you're not super careful. So if it doesn't come off easily just by scraping, then uh, don't force it. You can always go back in with another application of magic remover. And I do tend to do two applications of the magic remover to just to ensure that I get all the product off of my nails. Um, sometimes I might have to do three depending on the thickness um, of the product, but this is what I use um, to remove product um, from my natural nail. When I do dip powder over my enhancements, I tend to use peel base and that is how I remove my dip powder manis. But when I'm doing um, a full removal of my full cover tips and everything, this is the product that I use. Now this time around, I'm using it to remove dip powder because I didn't use peel base because I was going on vacation. So um, I'm going to stop yammering on <laughs> and I'm gonna let you watch me uh, remove the rest of the dip powder in this round and then I'm going to do a second round and I'm gonna let you watch that. When I am done with all of that, you know, I'm gonna apply another layer of the magic remover. I'm gonna let it sit for about three to four minutes. And then I'm gonna do the same process, scraping with the cuticle pusher. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back and explain the next steps. The other thing I'm gonna do when I'm done removing all of this product is I'm gonna show you Again, how I prep my nails for applying my full cover tips or my next dip powder mani if I was going to do that. Um, the preparation is identical. So you'll see that as well. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to let you just watch and I'll be back.
All right, I have removed as much of the dip powder as I can um, without risking any damage to my natural nails. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with some acetone on a lint-free wipe and I'm going to just remove as much of the remaining residue that I can um, to clean up my nail bed a bit and then I'm gonna go in with my preferred buffer and for this one I'm using a buffer from Enail Couture and I'm just going to smooth out any roughness of residue that may be left on the nail. Um, this is just the process that I do to ensure that I have a smooth surface to apply my next set on. Um, I will be applying full cover tips again. I've been missing them. So um, I will be showing you my process for uh, finishing my removal. And I will also be showing you my prep as I mentioned before. So keep on watching and when I come back, we'll get into all that. Okay, now that the removal process is done, I'm going to show you how I prep my nails for my next set. I will be um, adhering some uh, full coverage tips after this. So um, if you are interested in seeing how I do that, I will link that video up in the cards for you because I did do a video on that process as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my cuticle clippers here and I'm gonna just trim my nails down. Um, while I was on vacation and um, wearing this mani for two weeks, my nails did grow out quite a bit. So I'm going to take down the length um, and then I'm going to use a glass nail file to just smooth out the edges and shape them a little bit. Um, and uh, I only use a glass nail file when I am filing my natural nails. It is the most gentle way to do that and it doesn't cause any damage. When I'm filing my natural nails, um, I like to kind of create a sort of short coffin shape um, because it keeps the edges in and away from the edge of my tips so that they don't catch on anything. And I like to round the corners a bit. Um, and that's just a personal preference. You can shape your nails any way you like underneath your full coverage tips if you use them. Um, but I personally prefer this. So that's the process I'm going through right now. And then I'm going to clean off all the dust with a nail brush and some isopropyl alcohol. And then I am going to go in with my glass cuticle pusher. And I use the glass cuticle pusher. Again, I feel like these check glass products, the nail files and the cuticle pushers are the most gentle and effective tools for prepping natural nails. It's just my personal preference, um, but that's what I find works best for me. But I like to go in first with the flat edge of the cuticle pusher to push back any uh, dead cuticle on my nail bed. And then I go in with the pointed tip to just kind of scrape away any of that um, dead skin and get it off the nail bed. And then when I am done with this process, I am going to go in with my small diamond ball bit and I'm going to go around the, uh, the cuticle uh, just to clean up the any dead skin that might be um, you know, left over from the process of pushing back the cuticles. But let me be clear, I do not use the diamond ball bit on my nail bed at all. I only use it to remove dry skin around the cuticle area. Because if you use any kind of 
um, bit on your natural nail, it's possible to damage the nail bed and we don't wanna do that. But that's it, that's all. That's my whole process of removal and prepping the nail bed for my full coverage tips or my next tip mani. Um, so I'm gonna finish up with my e-file and cleaning up my cuticles and I will come back to wrap everything up. So that process is all done. I'm going to go in with my nail brush and some isopropyl alcohol just to clean up all the dust and remove any debris that might be remaining on the nail bed because I want to be sure that I'm starting with a clean slate. Anything remaining on the nail bed could contribute to lifting and we want to avoid that at all cost. So now I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil just to replenish and rehydrate my cuticles and the skin on my hands because you know the removal process even though i'm not using acetone can be somewhat drying so it's really important that we take care of our cuticles um so that's pretty much my process and when i'm done with this um when i am ready to apply my tips i will um you know remove any oils from the nail bed with alcohol and a ph prep or dehydrator and then I will continue on with my application process but that's it that's that's my removal and prep process I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about the product or anything that I use for this process please ask me down in the co uh, comments below I'd be happy to answer any of your questions I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video bye bye now